Alright man, we are live. What is going on with everybody? It's your boy Eric aka Young God coming to you live in the in the orange dungeon, giving it to you real raw rugged and your boy almost fell asleep, man. The nigga was tired, so I ain't gonna lie, ain't you light skinned, I thought you weren't gonna call, man, but you called and we got you on the other line. Uh introduce yourself, man. For sure. Uh, I'm mulatto. Uh shit. The, that bitch from the south. So it's no more Miss Mulatto, just Mulatto. Yeah, I dropped the miss um, probably like the beginning of 2019, at the top of 2019, officially. Um, just showing like the growth or whatever, um, introducing the people to like the new, um, more mature me, um, and getting away from the rap game and you know, all that. How you doing today? Pretty good, pretty good. Getting ready. Um, I got a weekend fully booked, so I got like. Lashes, nails, hair appointments, you know, all that stuff. You at the mall? No, I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm at a strip club right now. You at the strip club? <laughs> yeah. At four in the afternoon? For sure. Oh, yeah. Man. That's where the, that's what time like the old creepy niggas be there. It is a lot of old creepy niggas. <laughs> I know it is. Yeah, but, but you know, we just um come to eat and you know my friends be working here, so I be tipping my friends and eating. I've never had strip club food. I heard it's good. Is, is it that good? Oh my god, yes. Yes. You gotta come to Atlanta. Period. Really? I'm in Florida. Where? What uh, what strip club am I gonna go to? Um, Right now we at Cheetah. That's like more like if you wanna eat. It's, it's real classy. When you come to Atlanta, let's go. I went to a strip club in, because uh, I'm from Jacksonville. I went to a strip club one time and this chick had a tampon string hanging out of her vagina. Oh. and I never went back. So yeah, that's my experience at that Wait, strip club. where was that? Uh, it's down in Jacksonville. Okay, yeah. So you gotta come to Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I, I think Atlanta don't like Florida niggas. What's up with that? I feel like Atlanta be uh. Oh, no, you know. Them. It's a lot of people from Florida here. Really? Yeah, I feel like when I be meeting people, they be like, "Yeah, I'm from Florida. I'm from Miami. I'm from Florida." Well, take a little step back on how I even discovered who you was. So I seen mm-hmm. you on the rap game. I was watching a long time ago with my mom. I was like, "Oh, I see." She could, she could rap, you know what I'm saying? She looked good. That's, that's cool. Mm-hmm. So I uh, wasn't following you on Instagram, but I was with mm-hmm. somebody, and I heard this song. This was like a year ago. And I heard yeah. somebody, she was like, I'm a real ass, trill ass, bitch, bitch from the south. I was like, I said, who in the country fuck is that talking? <laughs> so they was like, oh, that's that girl, Miss Mulatto. I said, ain't no damn Miss Mulatto. So I look at the phone. I was like, this Bit for the side. <laughs> I like this crazy. So, yes, like you say, it's like a transformation of the Miss Mulatto. You just Mulatto. You are like, uh, I feel like you've grown into like your own now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could be free. Like, did you ever feel restricted because you was a minor? Like, did you feel like you Most could be yourself? Definitely. Like, that's what people, like, a lot of people, they're like, oh, she changed or whatever. And it's not even that I changed. It's just like, this is me having 100% control of my lyric content, how I want my videos to look. Um, how I want to dress, how I want to wear my hair. Like, it's just me um, being 21 now and taking over. Like, okay, this is my career, so this is how we going to do it. Yeah, I mean, I see your birthday just passed. Your butterball <laughs> naked on my TL, goddamn. <laughs> I was like, this shit got on no clothes. Like, hey, we big blessed. Wow. Every day is celebration. It looked like it was cold out there, too. Man. Your nipples was no, cold. It wasn't cold. We was in Mexico. It was probably like 80. It was probably like 80. It was 80? You yeah. see, you dropped I mean, in. A- well, you in Florida, so I don't know. It was it was hot to me. All right, so before we get to the, you see, keep bringing up Florida. I got a homeboy, and I don't know how this nigga noticed. But he said, "Hey, bro, you finna interview Mulatto?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "Hey, ask if she knows some niggas in Jacksonville." I was like, "How would she know niggas in Jacksonville?" He was like, "Oh, I think she was at these apartments." I was like, "How do you know this?" He said, "Hey, don't worry about all that." So, uh... <laughs> oh, that, ain't, that ain't this big. <laughs> <laughs> So he, he making that up. He, he made that up, all right. <laughs> but not. But not like I said. I, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, she had a pot, man. What are you talking about? That nigga was saying Pile and shit. But no. Nah, okay. <laughs> I don't know who that nigga was looking at. But um, no, nah, I think it's really cool that you could be yourself or whatever. But it's like one thing that I took from this is that, you know, you, you, you got your, your good looks and, you know, your Instagram or whatever. But I feel like people don't know you can rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was listening to that song, Lotto. 
Mm-hmm. Just wrap your ass off, man. Yeah. Oh, you no. say, I got Chanel purse. What is Chanel yeah. purse? You got that talking, man. You know what I'm saying? Do you, no. do you feel like your uh, you're writing, like your lyrics is underrated? Or do you feel like they're rated good? Um, I feel like, um, I feel like as an artist, you always got something to prove, you know, especially being like a pretty girl. The first thing they going to pay attention to is like your looks, you know whatever but <laughs> i feel like uh if they want to know that i can rap it's up there like it's that just be people just they want to only pay attention to the fact that i got my ass out or that i got a cute face but if you listen which a lot of people don't want to fucking listen if you listen i got mm. mad uh freestyles up on um youtube i got acapella freestyles up on the ground like if you want to listen you already know so shit I don't feel like it's underrated. It's out there. It's just <laughs> most people just be too lazy or they just want to look at ass. No, I, I wanted to do this interview just because, like I said, I seen you on the rap game. Now I see you now. And I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm an honest person. When I seen it, I was like, is this her? Like, I was like, people like, did she change or is this yeah. really her? And I'm a psychology I'm a psychology major, so I feel like I could read people real good. And I can never really get, like, a good read on you or whatnot. But we've been talking about five That's because I'm a Capricorn. You a Capricorn. Oh, so you believe in the horoscope. Oh, you one of them girls. Oh, I hate girls like that. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I'm a Capricorn. We, we, you never gonna know me. Even when you think you know me, you don't know me. You think, you think you could tell other people, like, signs just by talking to them? Yeah. I might not be able to hit it, like, pinpoint, but I can know, okay, you an earth sign at least. Or, you know. What, what, you, what you think I am? I, I ain't have, a, I, I have to, like, talk to Let's you. Let's keep going. Like, we, Let's keep going. I would have to interview and if we go, oh, let's keep going. We'll okay, have a conversation. Let's do it like at the end, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see what I think you. Are. All right, let's let's keep going. Okay. Um, but yeah, like I said, you you're a talented person. I see. Uh, like you you rap. So you got them selling clothes. Seen on yeah. your Instagram, uh, you was uh, you was cooking. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You look like you you like you can't cook. I'm not gonna lie. You you look. What? Stop playing with me. You look like you go out to eat every night. You you, you look like. I do go out to eat every night. That's my point. I got money now. I can do this, but. <laughs> but you cook. I can still cook. Don't get it twisted. You must ain't look at my Instagram story for real. I seen it. It looked good, but I mean, you know what I'm saying. Was it good? Though? That's the real question. It was good. Yeah, no, man. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I've never met a light skinned woman that could cook. Every light skinned woman I've oh, met okay. are terrible well, cooks. Listen, when you come to Atlanta, we going to Cheetah, and then we gonna um have a little cookout dinner at my house. What you cook the best? The best. I don't cook a lot. So, uh, the best, I don't know, I, I can make whatever, like. If you had to impress somebody with one meal, what you, what, what you I'm cooking? making? Yeah, what I'm you doing, making? I'm doing like a seafood galore type of thing. So it's going to be like salmon and shrimp and uh, potatoes and asparagus and crab legs and, you know, all that. Seafood's so overrated. I hate seafood. What? Oh my god, how you from Florida and you don't That's know. what everybody like from Florida. I'm finna give me a crab tray, girl. Like, look at that yes. nasty. This is disgusting. You was tripping. Well, it's not I disgusting. It, it's not that good for me to want to break the crab leg and crack it open and suck it out my mouth. That's too much. Just, let me oh just eat the food. God. You're tripping. You like all that work just to eat some a little mm-hmm. bit of piece of meat that's this big? Mm-hmm. I can't do it. But that. I don't, I'm not doing, like, crab legs, that's, that's about as far as I'll go. Like, like the crawfish and all that, I don't do that. No lobster or nothing like that? I do I do lobster, but you don't gotta like crack open the lobster. Like it'd be already Crack them before you would though. Yeah. You sure? Well at least how I would yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's some rich nigga shit right there. I'm you broke. Know what <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, like I said, I feel like you uh you seem like a multi talented person. Is there anything that you could do that, you know, people don't know that's like a talent of yours? That's on the low. Um before I was a rapper, um I had drag race. I was a, I drag race. So, like, in my family, all the men drag race. So, I um, I drag race. So, like, I can ride four wheeler. I can do donuts on four wheelers and shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> I judge you too hard. I'm not expecting any of this. You got to drive that well that you whipping four wheelers? Yeah. Yeah. And dirt bikes. And, yeah, I grew up, I grew up on that type of stuff. You lie your ass off right there. No, I'm not. I you, swear, all the men in my family, that's that, like they do that. Like they got trophies. Like all my my daddy, my grandpa, my uncle. Even my grandpa, he still raced. That's fire. That's yeah, fire. When the last time? Like, when, when the last time you uh, drove one? Um, I ain't been on a. Oh. Uh, I ain't been on a um 
on the on the drag strip, but like jumping on four wheelers and shit, like I probably just did that last week. Uh, you athletic? I'm not athletic. I ain't athletic for this to this for the things. No, I ain't athletic. I I work out, but like I never played sports in school. Or like. Hmm. And like I said, I uh, I think for the past like six months, you've been on my timeline increasingly, just so much. Hey. And hey, hey. I'm, I'm not going to lie to the point. I was like, hey, if I see this a licensed girl in my timeline, one more goddamn time. I'm, <laughs> I'm a block head. I'm a block head. I'm a play. I'm a block head. <laughs> that means I'm doing my job. That means we work. And I'm going to tell you what it was that kept putting you on my timeline. It's the song what? you did with uh, the greatest Southern rapper to ever live, my nigga Boosie, Boosie. man. And when I tell you, if I heard one more guy, you know I'm a star. Hey man, I heard that's that song. Hard. Every freak dot girl on my timeline played that oh, song. Period. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> that's hard. W- would you say that's like the first? Was that the first time you publicly put out a verse like that? That was that explicit? Yeah, yeah. Actually, like um, when I when I was recording it, I had put it up. They was like, you know, boost once you jump on this, whatever. So I'm like, okay, but. So me and my engineer was in the in the studio by ourselves. So we was just recording it, whatever. Then I had, <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, I did the verse. I don't know if you want to listen to it though." <laughs> 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 like I was telling my manager, so I was like, "I don't know if y'all want to listen to this, but it's done. You could just click send." <laughs> <laughs> so was you scared about like? Did you think like it was gonna get like uh, I don't know? Because you like you said you never put on it like that. Did you think the backlash yeah, yeah. or the reception was gonna be different? I knew it was going to be different. I just didn't care. Um, <clears throat> a lot of stuff is going, I'm going to get a lot of backlash for, for a good little minute. And I have been, you know, um, just because I came from a children, teenager yeah. rap competition show to seeing me become my own person and, you know, grown woman, more mature. So I was prepared for it. Like, I don't really care because I know. They see they gotta I, they gotta see the evolution, so it's gonna be backlash regardless. You know what I'm saying? But that's just another little hill. Once once the you know time once time passes, they gonna it's gonna be normal again. Like hey. I, I, I thank you for putting out that verse because it, it helped a real nigga like me. I've gave many girls the freak test, I've, I've called uh-huh. it, and I, I played a verse. I say, hey, uh, what you done did in this verse before? And they be like, oh, I did that. I, and then you get the, I, you get the, I want to spit in my mouth. I look at it and I say, you let niggas spit in your mouth? Well, thanks for letting me know. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, man. Thank you for that, man. Is that? And, and it went up, too. Like, yeah. not only, like, the verse, but just the fact that it was, um, you know, a song with Boosie. Like, yeah. who, who the fuck coming like that? Nobody coming like that. Did you see, like, more follows when you, like, when that song started getting popping? Like, did, like oh, a lot of people start following yeah, you? Yeah. Hell yeah. And then we just dropped the video, too. So, like, another whole round of followers, too. Um, and then not just followers, just people just like, okay, so, like, it's just more me coming from the kid television show, or whatever. It's just more um, recognition, just solidify, like, okay, she really a rapper. Like, okay, she got a song with Boosie. Like, she rapping for real. You know what I'm Since the rap game, what's been, like, the one thing that, um, how can I put it? Because I'm pretty sure the rap game got you, like, a lot of followers. But after that, what was, like, another thing that got you, like, super amounts of followers? Was it the Boosie thing? Yeah. Like, was, was that the biggest thing so far? Um, the Boosie thing, um, Thought Box with Hitmaker. Um, what else? Who? Oh shit, yeah, Rihanna. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Um, I just posted that again too. Um, Rihanna had went live listening to Bitch from the South, mm. so that gave me a whole bunch of followers. Uh, Demi Lovato was listening to Bitch from the South, really, and she had actually like tagged me and shit. So that was like a whole bunch of followers. Like Rihanna was just on live listening to it, so it was like you knew, knew, whatever. Demi was like tagging me, like, oh, this is my favorite song right now. Period. Um, it's some, it's some, um. Uh, Instagram influencers called um, Brittany Rock and um, Princess Nikita, Nikita Dragons. I don't want to say it wrong, but they as they got like hella followers. Yeah. So they made videos to it. Like that helped the song, helped my career, my following, all that shit. Like it's been a couple. Um, it's been a couple things, and it just being consistent. Period. Um, continue to drop music after the rap game or whatever, because people don't realize the rap game was five years ago yeah so like to be able to it's it's a lot of other kids in the rap game no shade but 
to to keep continuing. Like I didn't get to where I was just off the rap game. You gotta keep continuing to, you know what I'm saying? You gotta continue to put out shit. Or if that wasn't the case, then everybody from the rap game would be at my same, you know what I'm saying? Success rate or whatever. However you wanna say it, shit. It's just one thing. No, I get. I mean, I'm not a dumb nigga. I'm pretty sure you get tired of people bringing up the rap game every time yeah, you talk. I, I get that. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm pretty sure you don't want to be like. So how was it on the rap game? You're like, nigga, I don't remember. Right. That was five, seven years ago. So <laughs> yeah, niggas are idiots. To people like, how often do people bring up in interviews? Like that type right. of question. Like, is that a thing that people ask you a lot? They yeah. It's it's always the first question. Like, I know that's so oh, annoying. <laughs> Like, <laughs> like, what you supposed to say? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you see for yourself how it's been. <laughs> Have you done a lot of? You've done a lot of interviews, right? Yeah, I've done hella interviews. All right, like, how is your experience with interviews? Like, are niggas boring? Or do they like annoy yeah. you? Do you like it a lot? Or um, I don't get nervous for anything else. Like, I could perform in front of ten thousand people. I could do whatever. Like, I just did um, Rolling Loud. Wasn't nervous at all. But interviews, I hate. Them. You nervous like, right now? Make me so so nervous. Not this because like we on the phone. It feel like I'm talking to my friend. Oh. But like sitting down, like doing the like you know what I'm saying? Like death, it makes me nervous. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm being interrogated. <laughs> hey, nah, it I mean a lot of them niggas like Vlad and them niggas, they do like be basically interrogating. Yeah, you know, you know it's yeah. so intimidating. Like when I I remember when I did the Vlad thing too, like it was hella intimidating. Yeah, if you were to wear like a all red outfit, he definitely be like, ah, so you were a blood? Or she got all red on. Yes. Like, <laughs> and then you just be like, you gotta think, think about your answers because you don't want to stumble and like say something like. And then they like you said, oh, so so you are a blood? Like <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you done Disney Small Eyes? Yeah, I, I did. Um, like two. I went up there like two separate times. But I haven't been, like, recently. Like, the last time I went up there was, like, two years ago. Hey, man. Well, I hope you, you know what I'm saying? I hope uh, interviewers realize stop asking dumbass questions because they yeah, make you nervous. You know, that, yeah. you know, and it's like, why ask you something that they can go Google somewhere else that I already asked? I mean, answered before. You See, know I'm saying? trying to have a regular conversation with you. I'm not trying right. to interrogate you and ask right. you, yeah. you know, when the last time we had sex? You're like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> right. like, like, like nigga, what? <laughs> weird shit but okay. i don't want to keep it for too long so if there's anything else you got to say you know uh, let me know uh uh-huh, shit everybody just stay tuned for 2020 it's like it's early january still so we just we we still fucking we roll yeah. um hit the lotto streaming right now i just dropped that um it's shit still going up going crazy we still dropping visuals uh, i got a video shoot as soon as i get back um from dallas this weekend but <clears throat> Just stay tuned, period. 2020 is up. Listen to that Lotto song, everybody. That song is hard. The video is For fire. Sure. Uh, the, it's, 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 a sure. nigga, it's a nigga in there with dreads with a parrot in his head. That was crazy. Uh-huh. I don't know what that was about. I was like, this nigga yeah, wild. Yeah, he be in the club with it everything. <laughs> yeah, he was like, you want to hold it? I'm like, nah. <laughs> nah. Oh, man. That's like, it's like me wearing my bonnet everywhere. That's really funny. Right. Um, <laughs> So yeah, uh, you know, go ahead. You, you said you was gonna tell me what my sign was. Uh, oh shoot! Okay, okay, okay. What you got? So let's see. You give me, you give me um, outgoing, but not you're not outgoing to people you don't know. Like you are gonna sit in the room, you're not gonna talk to unless you're spoken to. <laughs> not, not gonna talk unless you're spoken to. I'm laughing because your face so see you really trying to break me down right now. Ooh, I'm looking. Yeah, I'm trying to put it together. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say. I'm going to say you give me okay let me co- let me go by quarter like your birthday is in we the same age I'm going to give you that and our birthday not too far apart from each other so you are either a Sag or a Capricorn no, no. you're not a Sag no that's what I was thinking of Sag. No. Um, yeah. You could be. Huh? No, no, I ain't gonna give you no hint what you want to say. You could be a it's, Scorpio. Yeah, that's what it is right there. You, you're a Scorpio, yeah. Uh, you cheated. You cheated. <laughs> I basically told you. You really get it. You no, cheated. you did give me the, the little range. I though. did. I ain't I gonna did. lie. <laughs> 
<laughs> but before we end this interview, I uh, gotta let everybody know. Well, not let everybody know, but I'll let you know. Uh, like I said, had to unfollow you because I've seen that verse way too many times. But you know what? I like you. You know what I'm saying? You're a good person. So I'm finna hit you with a follow button right now. You know what I'm saying? So I, I followed her back. Follow me. Hey, man, I'm not gonna lie. You better follow me back. I ain't gonna lie, man. I, you know, I'm gonna follow you, man. This ain't my phone, but I got my phone over there at our table. Boy, that's what every license girl say, man. I'm not gonna lie. No, 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 no. Look, we didn't need a whole. No, look. I was at McDonald's one time after school, and this one girl, um, he was my, she was my homie friend. And then just my Instagram, so I said, uh, hey, follow me on Instagram or something like that. And she was like, all right, I got you. So I followed her, and then 15 minutes later, I said, hey, you follow me? She held her phone up and said, I'm going to follow you when I get my phone back. And then walked off, and I was like, oh, man. <laughs> I ain't going to lie, I be pulling that sometimes. Because yeah. you got to think, like, I meet so many people, yeah. and I'm like, I do not want to see you on my time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, if you go follow me back, man, I'm going to feel offended. I got I'm going to feel offended. But... For everybody watching right now, I say what I mean. I mean when I say haters gonna hate, players gonna play. Y'all holla at your boy.